You tell me if you disagree, Furman. A make or break game that the Browns absolutely positively have to win. And meanwhile, on the Ravens front here, I am really intrigued by what's going on with Lamar Jackson. They can't seem to get set on the all-out zero coverage. Teams are blitzing him like crazy. Offensive line falling apart. A lot of turnovers. This feels simultaneously like a pretty monstrous game for the Ravens in the AFC North. What do you see here? No doubt about it. I think when you look at both of these teams and their upcoming schedule past this week, it's do or die time. Uh, And Baltimore, I know they went for two in the waning seconds against the Steelers. How different their season outlook would have been if they were able to get that win at Heinz Field last week instead of kind of clawing for their playoff lives. Now, I know they're overwhelming favorites at FanDuel to make the postseason, but there is some skepticism. You talk about that offensive line. It's really let Lamar Jackson down. He's been sacked 37 times, and he's a quarterback that holds onto the ball way too long in the pocket behind an offensive line that just hasn't been able to protect him. You look at their turnover margin so far this season, minus eight. The company they're keeping in that particular group are the likes of the Bears, the Jets, and the Jaguars. It would be the worst turnover margin for a playoff team since 2012. And now defensively, they're even more banged up than they were previously. Marlon Humphrey lost for the season, you know, added to the injured reserve list where Deshaun Elliott and Marcus Peters were much earlier. They're good against the run. They struggle against the pass. And the Browns come in rested. They've had two weeks to prepare after that disappointing 16-10 game. And suddenly we're talking about two quarterbacks in Baker Mayfield looking to try and secure a contract extension, whether it's the Browns or somewhere else. We'll see what the Ravens want to pony up for Lamar. Uh, But I think this is an all-hands-on-deck game for Kevin Stefanski and company. I really believe you're going to get Cleveland at its best. And if they were smart, They throw the ball a little bit more aggressively downfield, setting up some running lanes instead of the way they performed two weeks ago on Sunday Night Football. Uh, I like the Browns. I'm not sure I'd lay the two and a half. I still think it's relatively cheap laying the money line at that $1.35, $1.40 rate. 